Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to today's video. I am going to be starting this video off with a quick little story. So yesterday I sat down and I filmed a St. Patrick's Day look for you guys. I had no idea where the look was intending to go. I just knew some colors I really wanted to play with. And it ended up being a bomb ass look. I was so proud. It looked awesome. It was probably the best look I had ever been able to create. And I completely finished filming. And I take memory card out of my camera and I put it into my computer and I went to go and start uploading it and then start editing it. Find out more than half of the video actual work on the eyes was completely blurry. Needless to say, I was absolutely pissed. I had no proof other than some pictures I had taken after for some 100 days of makeup challenge that I'm doing, which isn't going to be posted until St. Patrick's Day on my Instagram. The video I created with it was unsalvageable. I literally could not put that out. I had to delete all of it because I want to get this video out tomorrow since I'm running, my videos are running one day behind this week just because of slow internet connection. And I want to be able to get this video out as quick as I can for you guys. I literally film up super early. And if you know me, most of my videos, like the earliest I usually film would be like 11 a.m. Like I'm, I'm not a morning person. My body is not used to it. Um, I actually most of the time work night. Probably some of you are laughing because you might work super early in the mornings too. It's just my body's not used to it. I had CNA work for three plus years where I worked 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So my body is basically not used to waking up at 6 a.m. It is 6.48 now because I had to get everything set up, everything out in front of me. And so yes, so that is what I'm going to be doing in this video is trying to recreate this look for you guys. So I have all day to edit it and get it out for you guys hopefully tomorrow. But yes, you guys, so before I jump into this video, please make sure you go down and you subscribe and you turn that notification bell on to be notified whenever I come out with a new video. And also, please give this video a thumbs up. I'm up this early for you guys, so you better give this a thumbs up. This is not a normal thing for me. Okay, you guys, so I have all my makeup set up in front of me. I am going to try and repeat the exact same look that I did yesterday. What I did yesterday was focus only on the eyes. I did the rest of my face off camera due to the fact that just the last video I put out was a full face and it would end up being pretty lengthy. We're just going to focus on the eyes, but if you guys want to see a full face, just, you know, give me a comment down below. Let me know that you want to see it. And um, yeah, so I am going to zoom you guys in and we're gonna just get started on this look. And also, I want to apologize. I will be using two different palettes on this eye look. I don't have all the colors I need in the one palette, and there's two main greens that I want to mess with. And if I could just like take them out and put them into one tiny little palette, I would. Unfortunately, I can't. So I will be doing some palette jumps, and I apologize for that in advance. So I want this look to be super straight super flawless and super in your face we're gonna jump to an instagram hack instagram hack number one this is medical tape if you guys are not aware of this and medical tape can pull some skin off so i am kind of loosening up the tackiness of the strip on my hand before i put it on my face and ripping it in half we are going to create a boundary for our eyeshadow so if we were to go over the boundary, it'll be on our tape and not the skin. And it, that way when we take it off, we'll have a super flawless line. Yes, it does seem like it's super weird. And that's because it is super weird and super uncomfortable. But it's going to help give us that more precise line that I'm looking for on this look. The first palette I'm going to be jumping into is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. There is only two transition shades in here. So the first I'm going to use, I'm going to put it on lightly and then I'm going to keep putting it on and building that color up because the next color is going to be a really deep brown. And I'm doing that because none of these palettes I'm using are going to have all the transition shades I need. So I really need to build it up naturally with the same color. And I want to be, be able to not have to use three palettes for this look. So the first thing we're going to be going into is this lighter tan shade right here. So bougie, we're gonna work that into the crease and then I'm gonna keep adding that same color and building it up. So now that we have that build up in the crease, the next color I'm gonna go in with is Coco Truffle, that dark brown right there. I'm gonna focus that on the outer corner and bring it into the crease a little bit, but not all the way in. And I'm really gonna just try and pack that color on. All right, and 
and just to kind of add in this color because I feel like I kind of lost it a little bit I'm gonna go back into cocoa truffle and I'm gonna put that right over on the crease again just to kind of bring this color back out into the crease Okay, you guys and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my small shadow brush and I'm gonna kind of just clean it off with the makeup wipe it's also gonna dampen the brush so when I pick up the color it's gonna make it look more metallic so it's like spritzing it but since there is makeup remover you're gonna want to let that dry just a bit make sure it's not gonna like take off the makeup now I'm gonna go back into the same palette I was using before and I'm gonna grab this color money bags it's that dark green and I'm gonna pack that onto the lid no more than halfway on my lid like I want to leave it more on the outside because I have another color for the inside of the lid okay and then take that same brush we're gonna clean it off again it's also gonna dampen the brush again because we're gonna go into another color and this one's gonna be a lot lighter of a green so we don't want to have that dark green on top of it and now I'm gonna be jumping into the Urban Decay and Kristen Leanne palette and we are gonna be jumping right into Lime Time right here that neon green and we're gonna pack that on the rest of the lid And I'm gonna take that same color and I'm gonna start going a little bit over the dark green because I kind of want to start blending them together and then now I'm gonna take that color Leo I'm gonna pack that right on top of the line time that we just put on and you see how I'm kind of getting like an ombre effect I had the light green going into the dark green and that was what I was intending to do okay so we got the eyeshadow on the lid done and now because this is something that you're probably gonna go out and be drinking with you really want the extra detail so we're gonna be doing an, a winged liner and I know if you guys watch my video I don't use a lot of liquid liner I love just using my next retractable liner and smoking it out but this one is gonna call for some liquid and I'm gonna go in with the wet and wild this is the felt tip liner I have the mega liner but I feel like that one's so wet and takes so long to dry that it's so easy to mess up and I really don't want to like blink and then have that black spread all over this eyeshadow because it is coming out really good and this one dries super quickly and it's easy to work with so we're gonna be using this one today and I'm just gonna start by making a super drastic wing And we're going to start working on bringing that in and doing the rest of the liner. Okay, and now I'm just going to go over that with my next retractable liner. And I'm just going to kind of start to deepen it up and fix any flaws. Now I'm just taking an angled flat liner brush. And I'm going to go right into 13th floor right here with it. And I'm going to start smoking out that line and see if we can fix it. Alright, big reveal on how it's actually looking. We're going to take off the tape now. Huh. I thought that one was looking bad. That one looks much worse now. Awesome! Alright, so let's just look past the wing me and wing this morning are, I mean it's not terrible I done better wing yesterday was much better wing but the shadow the shadow is what we're looking at and let's just look past the wing today all right so we're just gonna do a quick waterline on our eyes curl our lashes and throw on some mascara Okay, so that is the first half of our eyes done. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup off camera and we're, we will come back and finish off the eyes. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so now we gotta work on our bottom lash line. And to start off, I'm gonna go back into the chocolate gold palette, into the money bags, that dark green shade we used before. And I'm grabbing a small flat liner brush. This is clean and we'll dampen it make it super pigmented and help not give fallout and we are gonna bring that dark green in on our bottom lash line and we're gonna bring it in halfway just like we did on the lid and now we're gonna wipe off that color like we did before 
and we're going to jump into the kaleidoscope palette again into line time and we're going to pretty much recreate what we did on our top on our eyelid and do it on our bottom lash line so i'm going to take line time do that on the rest of my bottom lash line and then i'm going to take leo that blue highlighter again and pack that right on top And now I am taking a clean and dry flat liner brush also, but this one is a little bit more fluffier and I'm just going to use that to kind of smoke the colors together and blend everything on the bottom lash line. And now I'm going to take that lip brush that I always use. It is clean and it is dry as well. And I'm going to go into Brixton, the white highlighter here, and we're going to highlight our inner corners and our brow bone with this. Now we're going to waterline our eyes and use that same mascara. And now we just need to do the lips. And if I had a, a green lipstick, I would totally be putting that on. And I know Smashbox has an awesome uh, emerald darker green. Like I think it's Kale Me Not. I don't have it. And so I don't have a green lip to put on and it's not going to work real, well with like a dark maroon, darker lip. So I'm going to go in with just a nude lip and I'm going to line my lips first. And this is just the Maybelline Color Stay Lip Liner in the shade Nude. And now I'm just going to go in with the Tardiest Lip Paint. This is in the shade Birthday Suit. I don't think they sell this shade. This is actually one of the free gifts that you get for your birthday at Sephora. So, I mean... You can just use any new lip that you have. I just like this nude because it is more of a true nude, a brownish tone, and it doesn't have that pink undertone, and that's not what would go with this eye. This is actually like the only nude, lighter nude lipstick that I have that would go with this look. So, yeah. And then now we just set our masterpiece in place. And for something like this, I would really recommend a really good uh, setting spray to really hold it all in place and all nighter by urban decay is an awesome one but i'm out so i'm gonna go to my garnier skin active soothing facial mist with rose water and we're gonna set our face with this all right you guys and this is the final look i was able to correct the liner before i did my foundation to take a little bit of a makeup wipe you know this is the one i was using but just kind of hold it really tight and straight on the side and you can just slide it right against it and because it's even on that side you can really just clean up any mistakes and it helped sharpen them up so i was able to correct it and not end up with an amy winehouse winged liner this is the finished look and i feel like i was able to recreate it and give it some justice and i really like this look i think it's nice it's going to be a fun festive look for saint patrick's day and is green, of course. And I really love the ombre effect that I'm able to create with these two colors. Again, I'm sorry I had to jump into two different palettes, but you know, I don't have those two shades in one palette and I wish I could use a more affordable palette for all of you guys as well. But I just, those are the only shades I had that would have worked. So I do apologize on that. Again, if you, I didn't do the entire face on camera because my last video was a full face tutorial. But if you guys want to know about the products that I use, I will put them all down in the description box. And if you guys do want another full face tutorial, please make sure you give the video a thumbs up and maybe even leave a comment that you want to see it so I know for sure. That is it. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. Again, happy early St. Patrick's Day to all of you guys out there. If you guys like this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe while you're down there and turn the notification bell on so you're part of my makeup family and be notified every time I come out with a new video. It is free, will not charge you guys, I promise. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, it does mean the world to me and I do notice when you guys leave me awesome comments on my videos or constructive criticism, I do love it. I want you guys to feel at home here and comfortable enough to tell me, hey, I don't like it when you do this or this would help make it better. I love it. I love the engagement. Keep it up, you guys. Show me the love 
I do see it and I do feel it and I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for it. Thank you guys for watching. It means the world to me. It really does. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.